Notice this expression contains both division and multiplication. To simplify this expression, we need to follow the order of operations. Notice this expression contains both division and multiplication. We're looking at the order of operations. Multiplication and division have the same priority, which means we want to work our way from left to right, multiplying and dividing. So the first step will be to deal with this division here. So what we're going to do is write this division as multiplication. Remember, dividing by one-twelfth is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of twelve over one. So we would have negative three-fourths times twelve over one. Again, notice that's the reciprocal of one-twelfth times one-half. So now we just have a product of three fractions. But before we multiply, we do want to simplify out all the common factors between the numerators and denominators. And I think it's helpful to write everything out in prime factored form to make sure we identify all of the common factors. So we'd have negative, well three is prime, the prime factorization of four is two times two, the prime factorization of twelve is two times two times three, and then we have one and then two is prime. So now we can see there are two factors of two common because there was a four common between four and twelve. So two over two simplifies to one, two over two simplifies to one, and now we can determine this product knowing that it will be in simplest form. Notice we have a negative times a positive times a positive, so the product will be negative. The numerator will be three times three, which is nine, and the denominator will be one times two, which is two. So this is in simplest form, but it's also an improper fraction. So let's go ahead and write this as a mixed number as well. We know it's going to be a negative mixed number, and then we'll divide nine by two. Well, there are four twos in nine, four times two is eight, with the remainder of one. So as a mixed number, we would have four and one half. So both of these are correct and in simplest form, but you do want to make sure you read your directions. So if they ask for a fraction or an improper fraction, you would give this, and if they ask for a mixed number, you would give this.